So, everybody is talking about noise from drones. This is a, a particular problem if you are flying inside urban areas. So, of course, uh, we're going to test how the DJI Mini 3 Pro is performing in that regards. But I can already tell you now that the flavor of the sound is significantly different than uh, what we have experienced with the other drones. It's very pleasant and it's not as aggressive sounding as the other one. And hopefully that will come through uh, in this video. So to help us uh, with this experiment, I have this noise meter that will give sort of a raw indication of the sound pressure that's produced by the drone. This is produced in the DBA, but I've also taken my trusted Tascam DRX7X field recorder, which I've cranked up to the highest possible uh, sampling rate and bit rate. And I will put that on a tripod here next to the drone and record the audio for you guys to sort of get a feeling for how the sound is in real life. For this test, I've lined up three candidates. Of course, the Mini 3 Pro. I've lined up uh, the Mini 2 and of course also the Nano Plus. These are all very popular sub 250 gram drones, so it's a very, very relevant comparison, especially because these are allowed to be flown inside the city, and especially because you can fly it inside the city in urban areas, the noise level that these drones can produce is highly relevant, or the lack of noise, <laughs> you could say. So now this one is recording, let's put it on the tripod here. As you can hear in the background, there are always people uh, messing around with different electrical equipment uh, here in these uh, urban areas. This is just part of the game and uh, we have to work around that. So I've put it in the same height, sort of eye ear height. So I think that will, will do well here. We are inside here in the, my garden or what you can say backyard. There's not so much wind here. We'll basically be doing two measurements for each drone. One where I position the drone in eye height and one where I will put the drone in 10 meters height. And I will note the result down so you can see them all in a table in the end. So, preparation is everything, as they say. <laughs> Let's start by establishing a baseline with the Mini 2. It is a little bit windy here in the courtyard, but it's at least better than it is outside. Okay, and before we start anything, let's just fire this one up. My trusty measurement device here. It claims there's a base level around 38 to 40 dBA. It's around 40. 40 dBA is the base level that we are dealing with. So I've decided to change the measurements a little bit. I will put it in the, the yeah, basically the place where the microphone is. So I will measure it in the same distance as uh, the uh, field recorder is recording. So now we have the drone positioned here. No? I'm going to measure from this distance, basically. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Then let's move it up to ten meters. Oh, that's too much. Fifty-eight dB. Let's get it down. Next candidate, the Mini Three. All right, we're ready. Let's get the drone up here. I would say 60, 61, and let's get it up to 10 meters. Fifty-two, I would say. So we can already see now, if you can remember the numbers uh, f f before, that it is significantly quieter than uh, the Mini 2. There's no doubt about that. We're talking about the flavor of the sound. 
the flavor of the sound. I know it's a stupid expression, but it's kind of way more pleasant to listen to. As many of you see the Nano Plus as a competitor to the, your Mini 3 purchase, of course, we will include that one in the testing as well. And now it's starting to rain. <laughs> Uh, my life with new drones. So I have a tremendous impact on the weather here in Denmark because uh, I just need to buy a new drone, then I can turn it to the worst. <laughs> All right, we're ready. So that's a 65. Let's raise it to 10 meters. It's around 55, 55, 56. Okay, so let's just close off this test by just reconfirming. Yeah, the base level is something around 36 to 40 dBA. That's a big, big deviation, but that's, it's picking up all, all sorts of sounds uh, from this area. So that's it. Now we have the numbers. I'll just put them up in a more nicer way on the screen so you can actually read it. And I would say my measurements, even though they are not very scientific, confirms uh, my suspicion that the Mini 3 Pro is significantly quieter than the rest of the crowd. Are you equally excited about the Mini 3 Pro and wants to learn more about it? Then I've produced a lot of videos around this drone and will in the future. And uh, for that purpose, I've made a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.